Hello everyone, and welcome to General Top 10. In today's video, let's cringe at some Olympic athletes who were caught cheating. Before we get started, dash to that like button, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for our newest videos for fun facts like this one. The modern day Olympic Games, or simply the Olympics, is the most recognized sporting event in the world. Inspired by ancient Olympic Games held in Olympia, Greece from the 8th century BC, participants swore to Zeus that they would play fair. Even though the eternal morality applies to honor, dignity, and integrity in every culture worldwide, the human desire to take advantage of another in order to advance is always in existence, and an inner struggle that we've all had to contemplate or deal with. These Olympic athletes got caught cheating. Number 1. Russian Team, 2018 The Russian Olympic squad has been defaced with doping issues more than any other country. The Russian government-sponsored Olympic Committee distributed performance-enhancing drugs for decades, which led to the World Anti-Doping Agency imposing a four-year ban on Russian athletes in 2019. In addition, 47 Olympic medals and tens of world championships have been reclaimed along with several Russian athletes. In 2016, Russia admitted to the doping scandal of around 200 of their athletes participating in the Olympics, Paralympics, and Winter Olympics. Number 2. East Germany, Montreal, 1976 Another state-sponsored shady Olympic cheating scandal occurred in 1976 at the Montreal Olympics, with the culprit being East Germany. The women's team swiped 11 out of the 13 wins in the swimming event and was dubbed Machines on the Water. Overall, East Germany racked up 40 gold medals, and East Germany remained a top formidable team for a decade. Finally, in 1991, after much protest and denial, East German Olympians admitted to the gruesome facts of being aware of the large state-sponsored doping swindle. To this day, their medals have not been stripped away, and they claim their immoral winning strategy, using performance enhancement drugs, was a much-needed strategy for eliciting international clamor for the reputation of the German Democratic Republic. Number 3. Ben Johnson Seoul, 1988. Another drug enhancement case occurred in Seoul in 1988 by Canadian sprinter Ben Johnson. He won two bronze medals in the prior 1984 Summer Olympics, and he was thought to have won with a 9.79 seconds record, but would be disqualified after the Olympic Doping Control Center found that Johnson's urine sample contained the anabolic steroid Stanozol. Johnson claimed that he used steroids in order to remain on equal footing with the other top athletes, so Olympic officials tested all of the 100-meter dashers and found out that six out of eight of them were also using performance-enhancing drugs. To this day, this ordeal is known as the dirtiest race in Olympics history. Number 4. Fred Lors, St. Louis, 1904 What's the fastest distance from point A to point B? It's a straight line, of course, but if you have a car, you'll surely get there faster than those on foot. This was the ridiculous case of Fred Lors in 1904. After being exhausted from running 9 miles, he climbed into his coach car and rode for the next 11 miles until the car broke down, but he was still able to reach the finish line 15 minutes ahead of his nearest opponent. During the medal ceremony where he took photos with President Roosevelt's daughter, Alice, he even joked about taking a car. When the truth finally came out, Lors was banned by the Amateur Athletic Union but was later given a second chance and reinstated after apologizing. A year later, Fred Lors won the Boston Marathon in 1905, regaining his honor. Number 5. Dora Ratchin, Berlin, 1936 Speaking of honor, let's talk about Dora Ratchin. Dora Ratchin was a German athlete who competed in the women's high jump competition in the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin. She finished fourth overall and won the gold medal at the European Athletics Championship in 1938 and then established the world record for the high jump in 1939. Dorothy Tyler Odom, fellow competitor and former record holder, was not fooled as everyone else was, however. Tyler Odom protested to Olympic officials that Ratchin was not a woman. After authorities conducted an investigation, the truth was revealed that Ratchin truly was a man. Ratchin was then stripped of all medals, ridiculed and shamed, and expunged of all of his records. He later confessed in Time magazine in 1966 that the Nazi regime forced him to pose as a female in order to bring honor and glory to Germany. Of course, this totally backfired like most of the immoral deeds of the Nazi regime. Number 6. Boris Onischenko, 1976, Montreal One good way to cheat is by using technology. Wait, is that an oxymoron? Boris Onischenko, former Soviet pentathlete who competed in 1968, 1972, and 1976 Summer Olympics, did use technology to win the medal. When he entered the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal, he was already a three-time world champion. 
During his fencing bout, the British opponents realized that Boris's weapon had signaled a point without actually hitting anything. It was found that Onischenko's dueling sword, known as the EP, had been illegally modified with a device that registered a score without contact. He became known as Boris the Cheat after being kicked out of the competition and contributed to a long reputation of cheating from the Russian Olympians. Number 7. Park C. Hun, Seoul, 1988 One of the surest way to get brain damage is to step into a ring with Roy Jones Jr. In 1988, South Korean light middleweight contender Park C. Hun made that mistake. Park was given notice to protect himself, but that was futile, and Park was nearly knocked out twice. Despite the clear inferior performance, Park won the match with a 3-2 decision by the judges in his favor. A frenzy of fury ensued, and after some investigations, it was revealed that advocates in Park's camp bribed three out of the five judges without the knowledge of Park C. Hun. So Park was able to keep the gold medal, but the judges were banned for life. Number 8. Dong Fang Xiao, Sydney, 2000 Dong Fang Xiao, a Chinese gymnast who was actually too young to compete, will be remembered for this feat. During the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, she was only 14. However, her passport documented her at 16 years old, which was the correct age for the event. Her strong performance was vital and helped the Chinese women's team secure the bronze medal. After long investigations into the age ordeal, Dong's career-high scores were nullified, and eventually the International Olympic Committee stripped the 2000 Chinese Olympic gymnast team for its bronze medal. Number 9. Women's Badminton, London, 2012 This is a very curious case that we'd love to know your opinion on in the comments below. Strategic genius of the game or flat-out cheating, you be the judge. In 2012 at the London Olympics, two pairs from South Korea, one from China, and one from Indonesia were accused of intentionally losing as they regularly served into the net and intentionally hit wide to lose the game and play weaker teams in the following matches. They were penalized for not using one's best effort to win. Aside from being booed by onlookers, the Badminton World Federation accused them of being abusive and detrimental to the sport and disqualified them. So what do you think? Should they have been disqualified for trying to beat the tournament rather than actually trying to defeat their opponents? Number 10. Hans Gunnar Liljenwall, Mexico City, 1968 Hans Gunnar Liljenwall is a Swedish modern pentathlete. He was amazing in fencing, swimming, equestrian show jumping, cross-country running, and pistol shooting. The token Swedish team athlete competed in the 1964, 1968, and 1972 Olympics. After marvelously performing all of the events in the pentathlon, his only crime was having two beers before shooting his pistol in the markmanship event to steady his hands. Just because of a couple of beers, his team had to surrender the bronze medal. Do you think this was a trivial reason to strip his team of their medal? Leave your opinions in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more interesting videos like this one.